Hello, so I've popped into town today to try and pick up the Doctor Who Series 10 Part 2 Blu-ray and I'm not having a lot of luck. My local HMV didn't have it, they only had the DVD, so I popped across to Tesco's, they didn't have it. There's not many shops left here apart from this Sainsbury's up the road, so I'm really hoping they've got it. Ah, success. Hello, welcome to The Geek's Handbag. Well, I finally managed to get my hands on the Doctor Who Series 10 Part 2 Blu-ray. So, let's take a look at it. So, Series 10 Part 2, and once again we get quite a nice cover on this one. If you catch it in the right light, it's got that sort of glittery effect that we got on Part 1. And of course we get the other half of the picture which matches up to the other side of Series 10 Part 1. So, cover's nice on the back. We've got those round all pictures again. Who have we got this time? Uh, there's the monks, oh, they could have been so good but they turned out to be rubbish. There's old Nardi, there's Missy, Bill of course, and Bill. Right, taking it off, do love a slip case as you know. Got the same covers on the front and back. Opening it up, we've got the two discs, there's a disc behind there. And of course the major selling point for me, the postcards. But before we get to them, what have we got here? Some more, oh, two bits of advertisement. We only got one in the last one. Oh, the Mr. Men books, yeah. What's this? Comic bedding, right. Comics and more comics. Oh, no uh, TARDIS money box this time, that's a shame. So there's the discs, they, uh, they look nice. Just got the cover on the side. And uh, let's take a look at these, because this is um, one of the main reasons I bought these separately, the postcards. So, I liked the ones in part one. Are these as good? Pyramid at the end of the world, have they got a quote on? Yes. We will take the earth, but only when we're asked. How polite. So, that's quite nice. That's from the Pyramid at the end of the world, of course. I like this one much more than I like the episode. The lie of the land. And the quote on the back says, the monks have been with us from the beginning, yes. Believe that, you'll believe anything. Empress of Mars, that's quite a nice postcard as well. It's a good one, the quote on the back, rise my ice warriors, rise. Surprised it didn't say sleep no more. Right, this one, uh, the Eaters of Light, quite a nice little design on that one. There are too many fights, you can't win them all. Sometimes somebody else gets to be the hero. Yes, this is probably my favorite of the set. Ah, oh, poor old Bill, willed enough in time. I am Bill Potts. Oh, that's so sad. And then this one, finally, The Doctor Falls. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, a little bit plain. What does it say? Oh, good grief. I loved being you every second of it. Oh, the way you burn like a sun, like a whole screaming world on fire. I remember that feeling and I always will. Well, yeah. So um, once again, I really do like the postcards. They're very nice. Let's have a look at the episodes that we get now. I really like the episodes on part one, as you'll remember if you've watched my review. Part two, bit of a mixed bag here. So, we've got Pyramid of the End of the World was okay. Lie of the Land, major disappointment. Empress of Mars, I really liked. The Eaters of Light, I really didn't enjoy. World Enough and Time, I thought was excellent. And The Doctor Falls, I thought was a decent conclusion. So, as I said, when you get the two sets, so if you buy part one and part two, you can put the two covers together and I think they look really good. So this set currently retails for around £20, the same as part one, which I feel is a fair price for a two disc set. The postcards included are really nice and definitely add to the value. The six episodes on part two are a bit of a mixed bag, but on the whole they're pretty good. And just like part one, the discs include mini behind the scenes featurettes for each episode. The packaging also gets a thumbs up from me, especially when combined with part one to complete the picture of the black hole. So the complete box set will come out later this year, probably around Christmas time, and will no doubt feature loads of bonus material. So it's up to you if you want to wait to get that. As far as I know, the art cards are exclusive to parts one and two, but who knows, they might do something special for the complete box set. Personally, I'd love to see them do a steel book. That'd be really nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Do check out thegeekshandbag.com for more news and content from me. As well as that, I do a weekly Doctor Who podcast that goes out with Gary every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast to give that a listen. And until the next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye!